Okay, so what you're looking at right here is a uh, prototype electrolyzer. And of course, for those of you who don't know, an electrolyzer is a device that uses electricity to break apart water molecules into their components, hydrogen and oxygen gas. Um, uh, this is a prototype because it's sort of a new design or at least a new take on an old design. Now a typical electrolyzer has a cathode and an anode and the electricity flows between them and the the water is broken down. Um, uh, typically the cathode is where the breaking down actually happens. It's the positive terminal and um, the difference between this prototype and a normal um, electrolyzer is that most um, uh, cathodes are static, meaning that they just uh, sit there. But uh, what I've created here is a, a cathode catalyst, and that's the um, little rod on the far right. And now what it does is it just um, electrically bridges and conducts with the um, zinc BBs down at the bottom. Now I'm going to turn this thing on and you'll see the effect and then I'll explain uh, the intended result rather than just what actually happens. Alright, so you can see the hydrogen and oxygen. There's quite a concentration near the um, cathode as would be expected. You can also see um, uh, small streamers of gas coming up from other parts in the actual um, extended cathode sort of carpet. Um, now this is just 12 volts DC 250 milliamps. Now if this was like from a car battery, um, obviously the effect would be greatly increased. So um, the whole idea was to improve the efficiency of the typical um, linear um, electrolyzer and make it more efficient by taking advantage of the full surface area of the sphere um, and also creating uh, an elegant um, built-in uh, gas production mechanism. Now how that works is when these um, zinc BBs uh, begin to um, break apart the um, water molecules on their surface, uh, it creates bubbles of gas which push them apart and separate them and therefore um, separate uh, conductivity with the cathode which regulates the reaction so basically the more they react the more they separate and this keeps the production of the gas at a consistent rate um, there may be other benefits to this I don't know and since I haven't really done a lot of experimentation yet as far as let me switch this off with the um, other models uh, as far as linear electrolyzers, I can't really say how it compares as far as uh, electrolysis efficiency, but uh, well, that's that's it. So let's go over the components of the electrolyzer. Yeah, this is like a super basic circuit. I'm sure pretty much anyone with even the most rudimentary amount of electrical engineering info can figure this out. You've got a standard toggle switch. You've got a Christmas tree bulb here. I've hijacked just for a, as a, a passive sort of indicator. You can see it's in a series in the circuit. So this is this goes to my adapter, um, which is of course plugged into the wall, 
and uh, these wires here go to the electrolyzer itself. Which, uh, let's run over those components. Alright, so I've got the plastic jar, and right there in the middle, that's the um, cathode. Uh, over here, you have the anode. And, well, of course, that thing in the middle is really just the cathode catalyst, and the actual cathode is all of those zinc BBs down at the bottom. And that's the basic design. It's pretty self explanatory. Um, let's see if I can give some of the detailing here of the uh, exactly what's going on with my makeshift. Uh, cathode catalyst. You can see I've just dovetailed the little wire there at the bottom so that it creates kind of like a crown that can rest on one of the BBs. And that's about all that I need to show there. I'm just going to give this a few seconds to cool down and then demo it up again. Uh, originally this whole project was started from um, one of my friends sent me some information on this website uh, called Water for Gas and basically the idea behind the design is that by adding one of these electrolyzers to your car, you can increase uh, fuel efficiency by using your battery to um, uh, create this gas and then supplement that with your um, petroleum or diesel or whatever. Um, I don't know how efficient or effective it, it is in reality. I mean, there's a lot of information on the internet. Supposedly, you can increase your a gas economy up to 50%. Uh, only uh, actually testing it out in the real world would prove that. So I'm not going to speculate. And I was just mainly interested in the electrolysis prod, uh, uh, mechanism and how to make that more efficient because uh, the particular uh, device or at least um, interpretation of the electrolyzer that um, water for gas uses is uh, it looks pretty crude to me I mean it does have one interesting aspect with kind of a, a double or a, a single helix um, linear um, anode and cathode design which is um, intriguing but uh, I think you can probably get a lot more efficiency with this kind of um, free-floating uh, cathode. And theoretically, uh, with a lot more energy going through the system, these um, little zinc BBs would be bouncing all over the pit all over the place, potentially even uh, rising up to the surface as they um, accumulated enough um, bubbles to make them buoyant and then dropping back down when they released the gas. That was sort of the ideal potential effect. So that's it. Thanks for watching.